بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر مسلم بردرس ٹوڈے آئی واٹ یو ویڈیو فار یو دیر از دا میموریز آف پروفیٹ محمد احمد مصطبہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ان اللہ و ملائک یسلون علی النبی و ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلمو تسلیما اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد و علی علی سیدنا محمد و بارک و سلم This is the seal of Prophet Muhammad Peace be upon him This seal is preserved in Tapkapi Museum in Turkey This is the inside view of Masjid Aqsa You can see here a shining round spot this shining round spot from where our Muhammad Mustafa Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam peace be upon him went to see Allah ta'ala on Burrah on Shabi Meraj earlier Masjid Aqsa was the Kaaba for all the Muslims and after some time Makkah Kaaba it became the Kaaba to all the Muslims where all the Muslims face to Kaaba and pray Allah birthplace of Rasul e Khuda this house is the birthplace of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him this house is situated opposite to the Khane Kaaba Saudi government converted the place into a library recently Saudi has announced that they will be demolishing this holy site and replacing it with a high rise hotel or shopping center Cave of Ohad This is the Cave of Ohad Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed and took some rest here during the battle of Uhud. Some Saudi fanatics are now destroying this cave. Gari Hira. This is the cave where the angel Jibreel is said to have first visited Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace and blessing be upon him this is one of the front door of masjid e nabawi on this door it is written Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam This is the beautiful view of Masjid in Labiwi. You are seeing a beautiful green tomb here. Under this green tomb, our Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu sallam is taking rest. This is a glorious, beautiful night view of Masjid in Labiwi. This is a beautiful, glorious, holy Gumbadi Khizra of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Masjid e Nabavi. This is the beautiful green tomb of Masjid e Nabavi. Under this tomb, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam our prophet he is taking rest masjid al quba this is masjid al quba the first mosque built by prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he migrated from mecca to madina personally muhammad hazrat muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam has been participated in the construction of this masjid 
this is the grand and wide view of masjid e nabawi this is the beautiful view of masjid e nabawi in the evening times this is an excellent view of masjid e nabawi in the night time This is the beautiful view of Masjid e Nabawi in the daytime. This is the beautiful top view of Masjid e Nabawi. This is the entrance door of Masjid e Nabawi. These are the several entrance doors of Masjid e Nabawi. This is the inside view of masjid e nabawi this is the inside part of masjid e nabawi this part is called as riyazul jannah the ark on the left side was the place where prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him used to pray and lead muslims in the prayers This is the another view of Riyazul Jannah inside the masjid. Riyazul Jannah, it's a great place in Masjid e Nabawi. Riyazul Jannah, this place between Mazar of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his pulpit member. We call this place as the part of heaven this is a golden grill in masjid e nabawi you can see this grills behind this grills the mazar of hazrat muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam is situated and the another mazar of his follower Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu his mother and another follower Hazrat Umar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu his mother also situated behind these grills the golden grills the another name is Mawad e Sharif Mawad e Sharif golden grill behind this grill from left to right is the mazar e mubarak of hazrat muhammad mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam then the first khalifa of islam amirul mu'minin hazrat abu bakr siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala nus mazar and after that is the mazar of second khalifa of islam amirul mu'minin Hazrat Umar Farooq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu's mazar behind the right most grill is the empty space for one grave it is believed that prophet jesus christ peace be upon him will be buried here in future muslims believes that allah has raised jesus christ towards heaven lively jesus is alive and one day he will return to the world muad e sharif in masjid al nabawi during the late 90s the wahhabi scholars in masjid al nabawi changed the metallic calligraphy on those golden grill and removed the word ya muhammad they removed ya from muhammad peace be upon him these are the grand umbrellas in masjid e nabawi outside the building this is jannatul bakhi near masjid e nabawi you can see here there are a lot of graves has been built up to tombs This is before the demolition of 
Zanatul Baki in 1925. Zanatul Baki near Masjid al Nabavi in Medina Manavara. After the destruction, you can see the graveyard. It's a very neat and clean place. They have removed all the graves. You can see here, the square shape area contains the mazar of third caliph of Islam. But there is no mazar here. Amir al muminin Usman bin Affan, peace be upon him. On the extreme left is the mazar of Imam Malik, please be upon him. There is no mazar here. All the graves of companions and Ahle Baits used to have beautiful tombs on them. After Wahhabi revolution in Saudi Arabia, all the shrines and tombs were demolished and graves were leveled. Now identification of various graves is only possible through old graveyard maps and documents. Again this is Jannat al Baqi in Medina Munawwara near Masjid al Nabavi. You can't see a single mazar here. All the mazars have been demolished level to the ground level. This is the Jannat al Baqi near Masjid al Nabavi. In this Jannat al Baqi in Medina Munawwara, all the mazars has been demolished. You can see here in the center is the mazar of Amirul Mu'minin Sayyiduna Usman bin Affan Anhu. Please be upon him. This is the third Khalifa of Islam. Jannatul Baqi Madina Munawwara. Hundreds of Ahlabad, the family members of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. The Sahaba, that is companions of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, had been buried here in Janatul Bakhi. The circular area contains Mazarat of Imam Zainul Abidin and other Ahl Bayt. The first rectangular in the middle contains Mazarat of daughters of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. The rectangular area of the left contains the Mazarat of wives of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. Well, this is the Mazar of Hazrat Usman Ghani Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu, the third Khalifa of Islam. It is situated in Janatul Bakhi. This is after the destruction which you are seeing here. But now we can't see this also. It is removed and leveled. These are the Mazarat of the daughters of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after destruction. These Mazarats are situated in Janatul Bakhi, Medina Munawwara. These are the Mazarat of the daughters of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him. These Mazarats are Hazrat Umm Kulsum Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu, Hazrat Rukhiya Raziallahu Ta'ala Anhu, and Hazrat Zainab Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu May Allah peace be upon them These bazaars are before demolition Now we can't see the traces of these bazaars Everything has been leveled off These are the bazaars of Hazrat Abdul Muttalib Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu Hazrat Abu Talib Razi Allah Ta'ala Hazrat Abdul Matalib 
is the grandfather of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him Hazrat Abu Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he is the father of Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu these mazarats are situated in Mecca in Jannatul Mawalla these mazarats are seen before demolition now you can't see even the traces of this mazarat everything has been leveled off this is the mazar of Hazrat Abu Talib radiyallahu ta'ala anhu this is the khabar Hazrat Abu Talib he is the uncle of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him and he is the father of Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu this mazarat has been demolished now we can't see these mazars everything has been leveled off these are the mazarat of Jannatul Kubra Hazrat Fatima Tuz Zahra radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the daughter of Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him the another mazar is Hazrat Imam Hasan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the son of Hazrat Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the another mazar is Hazrat Imam Zainul Abidin Al Sajjad radiyallahu ta'ala anhu the another mazar is Hazrat Imam Jafar Sadiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu you are seeing a crowd of people who are visiting these mazars those are the golden days it has been gone these mazars has been demolished and now even you can't trace even a single mazar everything has been demolished level to the ground level here we are seeing a crowd of people who are visiting these mazars we are seeing a mazar where there are four stones has been laid there from the right side the first stone this is the mazar of hazrat Bivi Fatima Zahra Jannatul Kubra Razi Allah Ta'ala The same from the right side The second stone Is the mazar of Hazrat Imam Hassan Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu And the third stone This is the mazar of Hazrat Imam Zainul Abidin Al Sajjaj Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu He is the son of Hazrat Imam Hussain The fourth stone This is Hazrat Imam Jafar Sadiq Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu He is the son of Hazrat Imam Muhammad Bakhir Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu and Hazrat Imam Muhammad Bakhir Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu is the son of Hazrat Imam Zainul Abidin Al Sajjaj Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu This is the Khabar Anwar of Hazrat Halima Saadiyya Razi Allah Ta'ala Anhu This is the photograph of after destruction this is situated in Jannatul Bakhi, Madina Munawwara. The Khabar Anwar Hazrat Halima Sadia, may Allah be pleased with her. 
She is the foster mother of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. Hazrat Halima Sadia fed her own breast milk to Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be on him. When he was an infant baby, peace be upon him. These mothers has been demolished, and now we can't see even these mothers. Everything has been demolished. Everything has been leveled to the ground level. This is the footprints of Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. This footprints has been stored in the Top Copy Museum, Turkey. This is the footprints of Allah's Messenger. The footprints of Allah's Messenger, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him. This has been safely preserved in Top Copy Museum, in Turkey. This is Shari Mubarak of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. This is the hair of Allah's messenger, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. This has been safely preserved in Top Kapi Museum, Turkey. Surmaye Mubarak from Khabar Anwar of. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him in Topkapi Museum Turkey this box contains the soil from the khabar e anwar that is the grave of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him this has been preserved safely in Topkapi Museum Turkey Surmaye Mubarak from Khabar Anwar of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. This bottle contains the sand from the Khabar Anwar, that is, the grave of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. This bottle has been preserved in the Top Copy Museum, Turkey. Source of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Harad Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. He has used all these swords in different bottles. These are the swords of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. These has been safely stored in Top Copy Museum. These are the swords of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. He has used all these swords in different battles in Mecca and Madina Munawwara. These swords has been stored safely in Top Copy Museum, Turkey. You are seeing different articles here. These are the belongings of Allah's Messenger, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. These are the belongings of Allah's Messenger, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. All these belongings has been used by Hazrat Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. These are safely preserved in Top Copy Museum, Turkey. These are the mazarat of the martyrs of Badr, the people who fought along with Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the battle of Badr. May Allah be pleased with them. All the martyrs mazars were destroyed. The central square is the mazar of Hazrat Amir Hamza. 
He is the brother of the father of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. These are the details of the Sahaba who got shahadat in the battle of Badr. May Allah be pleased with them. Fourteen Muslims were martyred, of whom six were Muhajirin. Muhajirin are the Muslims of Mecca who had migrated to Medina Munawwara. And eight were Ansari, the Muslims of Medina who helped the Muhajirin to settle in Medina Munawwara. Of the eight Ansar, six were from the tribe of Khazraj. Hence they are called Al Khazraji, and two are from the tribe of Aves, hence they are called Al Avesi. Their names have been given below. This is the tree of our beloved Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace and blessings be upon him. Where he used to took shelter under this tree. These are the videos which you might have not seen earlier. Click the links and see the holy hairs of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. Then the second link. Click the link and see the ten holy things of Prophet Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Peace be upon him. Then again click this link and you can see the ziyarat of Prophet Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the grave of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him These are the videos which you might have not seen earlier The following links can show and tell you the story of Jannat al-Bakhi Madina Munawwara These links can show you the and you can hear the story of Jannat al-Bakhi the how this Jannat al-Bakhi has been destroyed and in the earlier days how the Jannat al-Bakhi was maintained well and after some time the rulers came and how they destroyed the Janatul Bakhi and made the Janatul Bakhi to the ground level. See the videos and try to understand what has been happened.